you're feeling very stuck right now. This message has found you for a reason. Maybe you've been feeling extremely stressed out with a person or at work. Let's see what your spirit guides want to say to you today. Wow. So we've got an unexpected event. Something unexpected happened. I'm also seeing in this card here, there's been a lot of inaction. Somebody hasn't been doing what they should be doing. And you've been saying about this for a long time and you're getting extremely frustrated because they should be doing what they're doing. And you've been hiding away, not going out, not socialising in this card. So let's see what's coming in for you, shall we? Okay, so I've got a male here who's holding the pentacle. So for my male viewers out there, this is a promotion at work. For my female viewers, this is a male coming forward with some kind of offer for you. Something amazing in that pentacle that they're holding. There's a positive outcome in this situation. We've also got messages here on the bottom of the deck. So a positive outcome is coming for you. You may feel as if you're drained from the situation, drained from the people, sick of actually doing what you've got to do on a daily basis because you're tired, you've had enough. But I'm here to tell you today, things are going to change. Things are going to be taking a turn for the better. And we've got here, taking a turn. We've got the wheel is turning. I'm also seeing this card, a fear, a fear of the future. You're worried about money, you're worried about love, you're worried about somebody around you and you're kind of like living in this fear state of worried about what's going to come around the corner. And this is kind of like a trauma response because you've been through so much. And it's saying here, you're kind of stood within all of these wands, trying to make a stand, trying to fathom out what's coming for you, what this person feels for you, what this person's going to say to you. And it's like in life, we've got the world here. The world is your oyster when you make a stand. We've got here as well that no matter what happens for you, it's like life is like a puzzle and you need to put all of your pieces in place in order to create the world that you want. And you're finding this really difficult to manifest at the moment. And we've got here, the ships are coming in. You're waiting for the ships to come in. So I feel that you've put a lot of effort into something. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be making money. You've put a lot of effort and it's like you're waiting for fruitation. You're waiting for something to happen, something to kick in when it comes to this particular situation. I'm also seeing in this card here, the number three could be very significant to you today. You might see three, three, three. You might see lots of threes on the clock. And the number three is there from spirit to let you know that you are on the right track. They are with you. I'm also seeing here juggling. So it's like you're juggling events. You're juggling your life. You're running around trying to achieve everything that you need to achieve. I feel in this card as well, this is all about juggling relationships. There's been a lot of kind of spiritual vampires that have taken your energy, your beautiful light, and they've tried to dampen that down because they don't want to see a light worker. And I feel that you are a light worker if you're seeing this reading right now. I'm sensing in this card as well that you're coming out of this kind of stressful period in your life where you've had to juggle lots of situations up and down. You've had to juggle relationships. I can see as well somebody who doesn't want to come forward to you because they feel it's not the right thing to do. OK, and this is in love. This could be love, this could be a relative, a family relative as well, somebody that loves you and they're worried about coming forward and I can feel this sort of croak in my throat here where they find it, <clears throat> excuse me, they find it really difficult to communicate, really, really difficult to communicate and they're very apologetic about how they're feeling about you. They wanted to move on from you but they're finding it really difficult to do that, really diff. oh goodness, really difficult to move on. They don't want to speak to you because they're worried about your reaction or they're worried that you're going to reject them. And they feel at the moment that they're just in, sitting in this place of like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to wait, wait for you to contact them. Okay. So we've got somebody waiting here and we've got them finally reaching out with a message here. And I can see January 
is significant. I can also see in terms of the ki kind of Christmas months, the Christmas decorations, things like that, that you just can't be bothered. You're just not feeling that inspiration to get your decorations up, to get into this Christmas spirit. And your cards are saying here, we've got justice. So we've got something coming in. We've got a contract coming in. I've seen a contract being sent through the post to you. Very important. And we've got happiness as well. So you're going to be quite happy about this offer, about this letter, this contract, this appointment that's coming here. And we've got love is going to overflow. So I feel in January, I feel this year has been a bit bumpy. It's been a bit up. It's been a bit down. But I feel that in January, things are going to really start to move forward for you. And that's your message today.